Hi guys, my name is Melissa Joe. For those of you who may not know me, welcome back to my channel. If I upload this on YouTube, <laughs> um, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. As I said, my name is Melissa Joe. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, all those things. You know what I'm saying? Do do whatever you want to do. Okay. So, for those of you who may not know, I am a visual artist, so I paint and I draw at the moment okay we are slowly well not necessarily moving from that but i'm expanding in my field let me say that so in a few years i will be a little bit more than a visual artist so i recently attended a an exhibition by geraldine roberts very sweet old lady um and she basically inspired me to stop using reference photos while creating art i'm not completely ditching them because that would really get in the way of like me doing commissioned pieces so i think that's the only exception i will make but from now on i am planning on making Every single art piece that I produce that is not a commissioned piece, an art piece that I have painted, either from observation, memory, maybe not imagination. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. But we were walking through each and every one of her pieces and she was talking about how she doesn't take photos at all, but she instead paints what she sees so she has like records of paintings like containers guys containers of paintings of just memories and as she was taking us through it all in my mind i was just like her hand is her camera and i was like that's that's amazing because i don't think i've ever shared this with anyone but even when i was in high school and doing art I was always against, no shade to anybody who does like realism or hyper realism, but it's not necessarily something I have wanted to do because I feel like if, if you can recreate something that a camera can take, how do I describe it? <laughs> Basically, if a camera can produce the same exact result as your hand then what was the point of you creating what you've created there should be a difference between the camera and what your hand has made but hyper realism it's it's really good practice and stuff like that it's just it's not ever been something that i've been into because of that reason so yeah guys i'm really inspired to move away from drawing using reference photos and painting using reference photos but instead just capturing memories with my hands and my paintbrush and my paint and canvas and everything and if it is the will of god for me to grow really old i could take people through my work and be like this was nairobi in 2022 you know and it's not a photo, it's literally something I've painted. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, on that note, I did my first set <laughs> of drawings from, like, without reference photos, simply from observation. So, I was in a matatu two days ago, I believe, and... I was like, Melissa, you've been saying you'll start doing these drawings and paintings without reference photos, but you keep saying it, but you're not doing it. So let's take advantage of this opportunity and just do it. So during my commute, I took out a sticky notepad because that's like the only paper I had and a black biro pen. And I was like, all right, let's do this. It's a biro. We have no opportunity to erase. So it makes it even more challenging when I'm moving matatu. <laughs> so everything that I decide to draw is literally going to disappear in seconds. So it's a real challenge. I'm going to have to commit a lot of stuff to memory and put them on paper and work speedily. So 
I was a long gone road and I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the pieces that I did. Please <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> there's a reason why I'm not sharing this on my Instagram because I feel like there's a certain standard I have set and people have also contributed to through their comments and stuff. But there's a there's a specific standard that is on my Instagram and like in terms of the things that I share on my Instagram. And I just feel like uh, I'm not comfortable sharing the process of change on my art account on Instagram simply because, because I have set a certain standard for the work that I produce. And me suddenly shifting <laughs> from, you know, my regular technique to this new thing that I'm now doing, the process in between, that process of change, change always looks ugly. It doesn't look good, you know. So I'm not comfortable sharing these on my Instagram yet. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to document and laugh at this now because I know in two years, in two years, hey, I'm a be a pro. Okay, so let me show you these pieces that I did. Had roughly less than a minute to do each of them because the matatu was moving. And also take note <laughs> that I was using a biro so I could not erase anything that I considered a mistake. And um, we were on a very rocky road, so lots of shaking, lots of shaking. All right, let's get into the pieces. Okay, <laughs> so the first piece was this vehicle the tires really are not aligned but hey it was a toyota allion the older model um yeah <laughs> and then we had master bit plaza the sun the sun came out to show the sun showed up to show out on this afternoon so this is Master Beat Plaza. Yeah. And the sun is just radiating. This is as much that I could capture of it with the limited time that I had. This was a pickup. I believe it was a Toyota Hilux. Remember, I was in a Matatu, so a lot of vehicles I was seeing from, you know, a higher view. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then... This is Shell, the Shell with the chicken in drive through right next to Junction. Of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't talk about my mistakes, but there's a huge mistake, yeah. But, yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. And then this is that part of Ngong Road that hasn't been, um, like, marked yet around Kimbo, between... Kennel and Kimbo, yes, or between Kennel and Jampak, let me say that, yeah, of course, the sun doing its thing, and then I noticed this, there were so many people walking, but my eye really just focused on this woman who, she was wearing like a kente fabric dress with a, a top and a skirt, and she just stood out to me against the sun, in as much as there were so many other people walking on that sidewalk. So, yeah. Then, finally, I decided to draw the matatu I was in. I was at the back seat. And this is basically what I could see. This one is a bit better than the rest, in my opinion, because, of course, I was in the matatu, so... It's not like it was going away, you know, so I actually had time to, like, note certain details and stuff. Yeah. But doing this, I actually missed my stage because I had started it a bit when I was very close to the stage that I alight at. So I alighted a stage further, but I made that conscious decision because I was like, we have to finish this. But, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I just took undo the... So... That is it. How many pieces were those? One, two, three, four, five, six. I might be documenting more of these just for the sake of 
the journey and thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next youtube video bye